The Lifeform Female Catheterization Simulator is designed to duplicate the human condition as close as plastics technology allows. This video will assist users in the function, care, and maintenance of the simulator. Setup Hang the fluid administration set approximately 18 inches above the simulator. Ensure that the slide clamp is closed and fill the fluid administration set. To extend the useful life of your simulator, NASCO recommends using distilled water. Using the quick disconnect fitting, connect the fluid administration set to the simulator. To fill the simulated bladder inside, open both the slide clamp and the pinch clamp, allowing water to flow through charging the system, and then close the pinch clamp on the drain tube. Your simulator is now ready to perform catheterization procedures. Performing a catheterization. Retain a water safe container or a catheter bag for this procedure. Position the simulator using the supplied plastic pad. Generously lubricate the supplied 16 French silicone Foley catheter. Slowly insert the lubricated catheter into the urethra and through the simulated sphincter. With experience, you will feel a pop as the catheter passes into the simulated bladder. Continue inserting until the water flows from the catheter. Gently remove the catheter following each catheterization. Properly inflating and deflating the catheter. Special care should be taken when using a Foley catheter. Cuff inflation should only be attempted when it is in the proper position inside the bladder. The cuff must be completely deflated before the catheter is removed. A 20cc syringe will be needed for this procedure. The syringe shown is not supplied. Follow the procedures before performing a catheterization. To restrict the flow of water when inflating the cuff, slide the clamp closed on the fluid administration set. Connect the 20cc syringe to the threaded end of the catheter, ensuring the syringe is pulled back and filled with air. Depress approximately 10 cc's of air into the catheter to fill the cuff. Gently tug on the catheter to determine proper inflation. Pull back on the syringe, completely deflating the cuff before removing the catheter. Draining the simulator. Perform this procedure near a sink or with a water safe basin. Slide the clamp closed on the fluid administration set. Disconnect the quick disconnect fittings. Turn the simulator over onto its plastic base. Elevate the simulator and place the tubes in a water safe basin or sink. Open the pinch clamp on the drain tube and allow the water to drain from the simulator's tubes. Clearing obstructions using the obstruction tool. Generously lubricate the obstruction tool. Follow the catheterization procedures and insert the obstruction tool into the urethra and through the simulated sphincter until you feel the pop and enter the bladder. Follow this procedure by flushing the system with warm water. Thank you for watching this instructional video. If you have any further questions, please consult the instruction manual provided with your simulator. If you need a replacement manual, you can find it on the NASCO website under the product number LF00856U Female Catheterization Simulator or by emailing NASCO at lifeform at enasco.com.